Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Google Map 3D into Unreal Engine 5 preview version. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you can just scroll down, go to my video description. What you need to know is just go and download the Google Map 3D Grabo. It is updated at 10 April. This is the download link. Just go and download this. And then, next, once you already download, it is a zip file. You can just extract it to get it into the folder, the Google Map 3D Gravel. So it is here. What you need to do is just go and download the RenderDog 1.13. And at the same time, after you finish download the RenderDog, you have to open the Blender 3.0 folder. This is the one that I provided for you. You just need to double click in and you should be able to see the Blender. The Blender at here, this is the, the application. Double click it. And next, what you must do is just go to the edit preferences. Go to the add on and here you search for map mac and make sure you, you take this import export maps model importer this plugin i already installed for you you just need to use the blender folder that i provided for you once you already take it if you close it you should be able to see file import the google map capture all right so next what you are going to do is just open Open the render dock, but before that, you must make sure you already you already install the Google Chrome. Right. Once you already install the Google Chrome, then you you must make sure all the browsers, the internet browser that Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome already closed. Next, you open the render dock. Once you already open the render dock have to click file inject into process and here you have to type chrome chrome here next in the google map 3d grabble you should be able to see a google chrome render dot shortcut here double click it and you should be able to see a conversation here <coughs> next in your render dot here, you have to refresh and click the Google Chrome GPU, click inject, and then here, click OK. Then, now you should be able to see your Google Chrome already opened, but you should be able to see some white text with black background at the top. Now, go to my video description there, you should be able to find the URL link. This is the Google map. Go into the Google map. Right. This is the Google map. Here, you can search the Google map 3D. First, I will search the location. For example, the Eiffel Tower, Paris. Now, I enter. Now, it is... It really bring me to the Paris. You can see this is the Google map in Paris. The Alpha Tower is here. What I'm going to do is just click the layer. It will change to satellite. And you can see this is really in 3D. The Alpha Tower is here. Click the 3D button here. Now, this is the Alpha Tower. Next, in your render dock here, the capture after delay you set it as 5 seconds, then you click capture after delay and then back to your Google Chrome to make sure you move the map in this way. Then after that you can see capture frame, that means it already captured at here. This is the Paris, Paris city with Alpha Tower, the 3D model of the Paris city. You right click this, save and as demo I will save it on my desktop. I will just name this file as Alpha Tower with Alpha Tower in Paris. 
then I click save. It will save it as RDC file. Next, open the blender that I provided for you. Delete everything, delete the camera, delete the cube, and also delete the light. Then, you are going to use the blender to import the RDC file. Click file, export, sorry, file import, the Google Map capture RDC. And it is on my desktop. This is the RDC file, the Alpha Tower in Paris. I double click it. And now I'm waiting for the blender to import the 3D model. Now you can see it is not completed. Let's have a check. The alpha tower is missing. So we must try again. This one, I, I will just close the blender, then save. And then open again. This RDC file, we can just delete it. This one also, we try again. Right. Capture after delay is five seconds. Click. And then we try it again. One. After a few seconds, it captures again. Let's have a check. This is the one I right click save again on my desktop. Alpha Tower in Paris. All right now, I save it on my desktop. Where is it? Now it is here. I try the blender again. All right. Delete all of this, the camera, the cube, and the light. Next, click file, import the RDC file. It is on my desktop. Alpha Tower in Paris, RDC. I double click and wait for a while. Now, it will show not responding here, but you just need to be patient and wait for a while until it really loaded into your Blender 3.1. Sorry, this is the Blender 3.0. Wait for a while. Now you can see the whole Paris city already here. Click, click this icon so that you can turn on the texture. The next thing what you are going to do is to combine all the meshes. You can see now all the meshes break into pieces. What you need to do is just select everything. All the meshes will get selected. You press Ctrl J. And now it combined to become a mesh. Next. Because of in this video tutorial, you are going to import the Google Map 3D into Unreal Engine 5 preview. So from the Blender, you can just export it out as FBX. Export it as FBX. And then as demo, I will export it on my desktop. The FBX file name. I will just name it as Alpha Tower in Paris. The path mode, you have to make sure you choose copy and highlight this so that all the texture will automatic embedded in the FBX file. Click export FBX. Now it is going to export it at here. Now it is exporting. And now you can see the FBX file is already here. If you double click, it will open by using the 3D Viewer in your Windows 10. It is really the Alpha Tower in Paris now. So I'm going to close this first and I can close the Blender as well. Or I can just save it as a backup file save as on my desktop. This one is Alpha Tower in Paris. Safe. Right now, I can close the blender. We focus on our tutorial. This is to import it into Unreal Engine 5 preview version. So, I will just open my Epic Game Launcher. And then, I'm going to launch my Unreal Engine 5. It is under Unreal Engine Library. Launch it. And now the Unreal Engine 5 is launching. As demo, I will just create a new game project here. 
I choose the third person. The project name, I will just name it as demo03. Create it. Now, this is a new project, a fresh new project in Unreal Engine 5 preview. Alright, now you can see, you should be able to see your content browser. If you accidentally close it already, you have to go to, go to the window, content browser, make sure you activate it. Then you can see, this is your game, your sample game. If you, you play, this is the avatar in your Unreal Engine 5 preview. Alright, press escape. Next, make sure you click the contents right here. You right click to create a new folder. Name this folder as Google Map 3D. Double click in and next, I can just open another, another new folder. Name it as, wait, where is it? No, here. Name it as Alpha Tower Terrace. Right, double click in, drag in the FBX file so that you can import it. Drag in, then click import all and wait for a while until you finish import everything. It is just a single mesh with multiple texture. Okay, now <coughs> it is already finished. Finish import everything. So this is just a message log, you can close it. You can find from here, go and find the static mesh. Most of these are just texture. What you want to find is the static mesh. It is here, static mesh. All right, if you drag it out, put it here, it is quite small. And here you have to wait for a while until it is be able to load. Now I want to drag this up. Wait. Where is it? It is here. Alpha Tower in Paris. Drag it up. At this moment, it is quite difficult to operate. You have to wait until the preparing shaders completed. Now it's only 40%, so all the operating are quite difficult. At this moment, you have to wait for this. Now, it is already finished. So I try again to drag it up. It should be okay. Now you can see, at this moment, if I drag it to another side, here, I try to play. Actually, you can see I, I'm unable to jump up to the mesh just because of the collision setting. So I press escape. Now, this is the static mesh. I have to double click it. And then scroll down, scroll down to find the collision setting. Collision setting is here. The, colli the collision preset is block all the collision complexity. Just use complex collision as simple. And then save, close. Now, if you try to play your game, you can see it already have certain collision. All the collisions are complete according to all the meshes. All right. If you want to make it big, it is okay as well. Just to press, press R to make it really big. Then push it up.
and this is the player start. Alright, now we try again. You can see now it is much bigger. And you can stand on the bridge, you can jump into the sea. All the collisions are complex. Alright. Now you already successfully successfully import the Google Map 3D into into Unreal Engine 5 preview. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing! See you!